the people that struggle the most with remote work, because there are some people who are like, this is the best I've ever been in my life. This is the most peace I felt. Um, but the people who tend to struggle with it are people who, um, usually like struggle with boundaries. And so they don't know how to say no. They struggle to step away from their computer because they feel like if they miss a ping, the boss is going to assume they didn't work all day. Um, they, there's this like, uh, idea that, you know, you have nothing better to be doing. Like you're just sitting at home. So why wouldn't you be available to do this thing at this time? Or you're lucky to get to work from home. So you should be willing to make these extra sacrifices. If you can't untell those stories and find a safe, just as true belief that allows you to maintain reasonable boundaries and still get all of your work done. um, I would say media then is kind of the threat and stories that you're telling um, have that threat to spill into your life and create that burnout just because of that lack of separation between work and life. You have to have as much separation as if you left the office and can't take your laptop home with you during certain yes. hours. We have to be able to be unavailable. Like yeah. availability culture is just one of the worst things I think to exactly. happen to us. It's true. It'd be like just instant, like being like expecting people to text you right back and checking your email right away. Yeah. It's, it's almost like, because we don't have that physical boundary of like going into the office and coming home, everything's digital and everything's ever flowing. So you have to create your own boundaries around like, you know, I'm not going to check my email from this time to this time. Don't, don't text me or I won't pick up your call during this time. Yes. So it, we have to normalize that a little yes, bit more. Definitely. Mm-hmm. And it can feel like shifting from saying like, oh, I can't, like, I actually can't do that to I won't like, uh, oh, I, yeah. I could, but I won't. And that's harder right. to say than I can't. Cause I left that thing at the office. Um, and kind of having that, it, it really requires some strong boundaries and some good wordsmithing to uh, be able to appease people and still do a good job. A lot of people hear boundaries and they think, oh, you just don't want to do your full job. And it's like, no, you can do a good job within reasonable constraints. And if you can't do your job within this reasonable um, constraint, constraint that has a negative connotation, but if you can't do it, that's probably, you're probably being asked to do more than you could do within that context anyways. So that's a different conversation about workload. 